Hi, this is Courtney Marshall with Environmental Services. I sort of take a minute to share a little bit of my experience of what shaped me into the man I am today. Growing up in the islands, we have a village that raised us as children. There was never one parent, there was never one family, there's always the village. And so it takes that kind of unified commitment to whip us into who we are as children and back then to who I am today. Nevertheless, I use this platform just to want to share a little bit of my experience. My stepfather, who was always one of the biggest influences in my life, he teaches the wisdom, he gives me the understanding, he gives me the footstool there is to never depend on anybody for anything but to go out there and, and to be the pioneer in whatever you do from day to day. Nevertheless, at times I feel like you're not getting the best of the whip that you put forward, but depending on your perseverance and your drive and your purpose. And once you set those goals and those things in life, things, everything else will fall into place. You have to be like that iceberg, as you always say, that you may always see the top of the iceberg, but nobody understand the depth of the width of how strong, how grounded that iceberg gets under um, at the bottom of the surface. So that's what it takes a time for you to fulfill um, a strong, have a strong hold as a black man in the community. It takes perseverance, it takes drive, it takes fulfillment, and it takes wisdom and knowledge and commitment. And we have to follow through as a black man in the community to change the perception of who we are. It's a never a moment that we don't go through life and hear that we are ignorant, we are violent, and we're depending on the government for day-to-day -day life. We need to change that perception of us because we're better than that. And that's my truly belief, and that's what's going to change our way. Coming from a different country with a completely different culture, lifestyle, and language was quite a challenging beginning and experience. Adapting to a new system and navigating smoothly has taught me patience, tolerance, and wisdom. Facing those obstacles with perseverance, resilience, and tenacity has helped me to overcome the odds and to become the man who I am today. Hi, my name is Van Watts and I'm a physical therapist at Anne Arundel Medical Center. For the past 11 years, I'm a proud graduate of two historically black colleges, Oakwood University in Huntsville, Alabama, and Howard University in Washington, D.C. Howard University has a very rich African-American history when it comes to its alum. We have Thurgood Marshall, Delbert Baker, Kamala Harris, Anthony Anderson, Simona Watts, and myself. Needless to say, Howard strives for excellence. During my time in the PT program, it was always stressed to us that you have to go above and beyond. There are going to be working environments, either as a student or a licensed clinician, where you're going to come in with two strikes against you. They're going to think differently of you because you went to Howard and you're black. They will have an unconscious or conscious bias about you. Knowing this, it is your responsibility, my responsibility, to strive for excellence in all that you do. 110% is your minimum. You'll be better than the next person. You are standing on shoulders of great people from Howard. And in my case, Oakwood as well. This is something that has stuck with me both in my personal and work life. I strive every day to be the ultimate team player. I also take pride in having the patients and their families strive to reach their goals during their stay at Anne Arundel Medical Center. My name is Maurice Summon, and I'm the Supply Chain Logistics Manager at Anne Arundel Medical Center. Today I wanted to share with you a quick memory I have that helped shape me into the man I am today. While in a previous role, I expressed some frustration to my mother about the lack of recognition I was receiving. When I informed her of this, she said to me, son, you have to remember, you're going to have to work twice as hard to achieve your goals as everyone else. This did not re clearly resonate with me until I was 33 years old and someone came looking for the supply chain logistics manager and was surprised to see an African American male. This helped remind me to always put my best foot forward and do everything as if my name is on it. That includes from my inventory variances to ensuring that um, I provide excellent customer service, all the way to always remembering that the patient's needs come first.